Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries, and boy, is it hot. But uh, right now, I'm outside of the Bass Pro Shops. Uh, my wife gave me a gift card for my birthday. I'm going to see what I can get in there. And two weekends ago, we went to Silver Dollar City. And a lot of people, they, at this time of year, they go camping, uh, different places, Silver Dollar City, Branson, we're close to that, Springfield, Missouri. And it just reminds me of something. And some people, if they watch TV, they like watching TV Land. They like watching the Andy Griffith Little House in the Prairie. Why is this? Well, one of the biggest things is people are longing for simplicity again. Let's face it. This world is chaotic. This world is crazy. And if you're trying to keep your mind around things with social media and things like that, it is just so much coming at you from wars and Russia and the political landscape and you know possible nuclear war it's too much and you know something we're not designed to have so much going on all the time that's why anxiety is up why stress is up we just need to get away from that and some people are wanting to get more simple in life they're actually starting to sell their things you've seen the things with tiny houses and it seems like people are longing for that simplicity. So I'm gonna encourage you today. Simplify your life. Do what you can do. No longer do you have to play the rat race. He who dies with the most toys still dies, and usually with more regret. So I'm going to encourage you to simplify your life. Sell things. And a lot of people, they feel trapped in their lifestyle and they think they have to work and get second jobs and third jobs to sustain what they have. How about rearrange your thinking, get rid of stuff. If you have two houses, sell one. If you have more cars and you need, sell some. Downsize, whatever you need to do. Get back to the simplicity of life. In Ecclesiastes, it says this. In chapter 12, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God. And that part of that is receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Realize he is who he says he is. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Repent of your sins, which is to be willing to turn from self and sin and totally to the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's a part of fear God and keep his commandments. Jesus himself says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And the Bible says that his commandments are not burdensome. It's more like rest. For this is the whole duty of man. You see, simplify your life. You know, I had a dream one night and I woke up a little weirded out because in the dream, I was living in a van down by the river. And in the dream, my wife did not like that at all and just was very disappointed in me. And then when I told her about that in the morning, she was like, huh. That actually sounds nice living in a van down by the river. It's just that simplicity thing. And so I encourage you, get back to the simple things of life. If you gotta knock social media out, knock it out. The things of the world, the trappings, the chaos. Get back to some simple times. Hey, if you like what you're watching, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications of other videos. Thank you for watching. God bless.